All right, so I'm going to do a quick like clean out and restock of our fridge. It is the beginning of December. I just did my grocery haul and I need to put all of that in my fridge. So that is what's going to be in today's video. I'm gonna clean this out. The kids help me clean it out. And I usually take a lot of this stuff and just put it to our animals when we have extras, um, but it is going to be like the holiday season and I have a feeling that if I don't clean it out now, especially during grocery hauls, um, we restock everything and if everything is still left in there, I don't have room to put any more stuff in there. So the kids are gonna clean it out quick and I also did the one out in the fridge and I will like just give you a sneak peek on out there on what we put in there, um, but we clean that one out and then we clean this one out. So. I'm gonna come back after all the clips and I will share with you what it looks like after we restocked everything. Um, you'll see kind of a before and after of what it looked like before and then what it looks like now. So now it's restocked where in my other videos, I would do like a deep clean, which I usually do but I don't ever do a restock with you guys for the fridge. But today I did and hopefully you guys like the change in today's video. All right, so this is the start of cleaning out our fridge. We are going to do a reset on our fridge, holiday fridge reset. So with Thanksgiving already done, we're going to clean out our fridge. And I like to do that once a month anyways before we go grocery shopping. So the kids are gonna help clear out everything. I'm also going to do a pantry reset and I will share that with you guys soon. We're trying to do some updates in it right now and I need to get everything in there, but I also need to kind of clean it out and get it going. So I'm gonna share all of that with you when I do that pantry reset. All right, so usually I don't put my cheese in this drawer. I have it up in another container and for some reason it's not in there anymore. So I cleaned out this drawer and that is everything cleaned out now. And then all the kids took out everything from the fridge and I wiped everything down. All right, so with it cleaned out the way it is, the stuff that's left in there are just extra sauces and stuff that are kind of lingering that I don't wanna take out because we're gonna use it anyways. So I do end up taking things out and just re-cleaning everything. So I'm not really worried about what is still left in the fridge I'm okay with that as long as all like the leftover stuff is out and then just having it cleaned out this is our fridge out in the garage so we usually store our kids yogurt and extra food items that you know the kids want to store sometimes uh, we just make room out here and then do that but usually we put a lot of our yogurt and stuff in them drawers and then our milk and stuff in this one this is like kind of like the fun fridge we have all our drinks and different things in there so I quick um did this fridge but this one honestly wasn't even that messy so I wasn't even like overly concerned but I did have some like leftover stuff in there and I needed to get it out for when we went shopping all right, so now I'm going to restock everything into the fridge. I don't have like a good system when it comes to this. I'm just going to add everything to this fridge. The fridge that I have on the garage is our fridge that we add more of the kids stuff in. So this fridge is mainly used for everyday use and things that um, I like to keep in here just because I don't wanna go out in the garage and find what I need. So the fridge outside is just mainly for our drinks and stuff. So it just makes it easier for me to keep all the fruits and vegetables in this fridge all in one place. I don't do anything fancy. I've tried different systems before and it never ends up staying that way. The only thing that I do like is having our cheese in this little container instead of putting it in the drawer because we ha will have the cheese in the drawer and our sandwich meat and stuff like that and it just gets overcrowded so I like to have the cheese at least in that container and not all over the fridge we also use a container just for our soy sauce we have a bunch of individual like soy sauce um, jars in there and I have that right off to the side from there so that I do have in another plastic container and that just works out good for us all right, for our fruit though, I did put everything on this one side of the fridge. So I had a couple containers, like three or four containers of strawberries. So I ended up just putting them in there. I find that if I wash off 
my fruit first they go bad and I've tried the whole mason jar thing where I cleaned it off and put them in the fridge and they're supposed to last longer it didn't work for me so I don't do that anymore but I just put them in here and then when I am ready to use them that's when I wash them off and it seems to work better for us and they just stay longer that way for us but if you guys have a great idea for me leave it in the comments down below and I would love to hear your ways of keeping your um fruit fresh so I do have a fruit cleaner that I use that I put in a bowl to clean off my fruit um, I also will just use vinegar and stuff but I found that just put them in the fridge and then when we want to eat them I just clean them off then I'm going to go really quick and put everything in I'm adding all like the lettuce and stuff on the shelves and then in the drawers is mainly going to be our like the other fruits and vegetables that I'm going to be using in some of the recipes for December. Um, but now our fridge is nicely stocked and that'll be good for the month of December. So in other videos, I have shared that when we want more fruit, we just go and get more throughout the month. So I'm never worried about not having enough fruit, but I like to just get small amounts for the beginning of the month because I don't want them to go bad. And right now it is winter in Wisconsin, so our garden is done. So next year, hopefully we will have you know extra stuff in there but we did plant some blueberries grapes so it's going to be a while before we get any of that out of our garden um, but otherwise we will go strawberry picking and stuff like that we do have an apple tree now and it is finally getting apples on it so that won't be until um, after spring that we will get them again so for right now I am just going to get what we need from the store I did get some stuff from Aldi so if you guys didn't see my grocery haul I did a grocery haul with Walmart like a Walmart pickup and then an Aldi pickup all right so I put everything in this drawer nice and I have all like my cheese spreads and cream cheese and stuff in that one drawer and my sandwich meat and then the uh, vegetables and stuff in these drawers right for in this fridge all we have in here right now is our mini dr peppers this is a water drink that i got some orange juice we got our yogurt in here and then we always put our kids yogurt in this drawer like our gogurts um and then up here i have this container so when i thaw out meat i have it in a container so it doesn't go all over the fridge and then i have our little yo flip yogurts down here usually we fill these up with that um we have our like creamers over here so our whole milk for yogurt and then our whipping cream my oat milk here and then some of my kids drinks um, I have my Dr. Pepper down there. I still need to fill that up with my other one that I just got. And then we usually put all our butter in here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions on today's video, just leave them in the comments down below. Uh, go check out my grocery haul. I just put out that video so you'll see that one. Um, stick around because I'm going to be doing a lot of recipes with the stuff that I got from my grocery haul it's mainly going to be holiday stuff and then also i have some fun stuff that i shared like our timu unboxing for saint nick and stuff and then uh, i'm going to have one of my other videos out where i got a lot of decorations and stuff from timu for christmas we also are going to have our decorate our christmas tree um and that's all going to be in somewhere in december so a lot of this is going to just be scattered throughout we'll have some holiday stuff some non-holiday stuff but mainly we're going to tie it all in with food and we all like food so i will share all of that in the december videos all right so that is it for today so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one